Well, welcome to Worship Matters, the place where we learn how Jesus saw worship. So today I want to talk to you about the word worship. The word worship is pretty cool. Um, it's cool because the Hebrew word is shaka. I'll write it up here on the board. S-H-A-C-A-H. And shaka actually is a nice Hebrew word, but before it was in letters like this, it was in a thing called pictographs because before there were uh, letters that are we know today or even Hebrew letters, there were signs, there were symbols, kind of like emojis are today. And this is the word worship in those emojis or what we call pictographs. Now this is a great help to us to know what the word worship means because these pictures actually meant something. For example, when you send an emoji and you have this, it means you're not happy. <laughs> but if you send one that has the opposite, then it means you're happy about something. So it conveys the emotional content as well as the, uh, the picture of what's going on there. So this word shakak, and I think I spelled it wrong. I think there's a CH here. Yep. There is, sorry. Okay, anyway. So here we have these three pictographs and they're read from, uh, for you, I don't know what it'll be. For, for me, it's from right to left. So I hope that's the way it is for you. So what do each of these little pictures mean? Well, the first picture is the picture of a kind of a burr. Now I take my dog out to walk sometimes and we go in the fields and besides ticks and fleas, sometimes she picks up these little stickery things that happen um, when she, I don't know what it is, it's some kind of a little stickery thing. So in this stickery thing, it actually has the idea of being coming attached or connecting. This next picture is the picture of a bridge. And this usually represents the connection between heaven and earth. So the word worship has something to do with this, apparently. And this little guy, you go, oh! I know what that means. He's the guy that raises his hand in worship. Except that this is not the case. This is the, the Hebrew letter he. And he actually is the sound of air going in and out. <gasps> so in this particular case, this is moving air. Moving air. And in the Christian or in the Old Testament context, this had to do with the Spirit of God or the Ruach, which is this air that's always moving. It says in Genesis that uh, it was moving, brooding, oh, this the Spirit of God was brooding over uh, the waters. And so the word worship has something to do with these pictures. It has to do with people who want to attach themselves and then make the connection from heaven, from earth to heaven and heaven to earth. And they want to follow this part of God that is the moving air, which we call the Holy Spirit. So when you think about worship from here on in, in this channel, we're going to see that worship matters has more to do with the things of the Bible beyond music. I'm a musician, so I like music. I like all this. But this is not the extent of worship. And so as we study together, this is our first little teaching on YouTube. So as we study together, we're going to learn what it means to see worship through Jesus' eyes. See you next time.